Hello, hi, this is Dr. Ifan Khan from Abu Dhabi. I'm going to talk about a pediatric cataract. Uh, secondly, I will implant. This uh, child was operated uh, at uh, almost uh, six to seven weeks of age, had a unilateral uh, dense uh, cataract, underwent uh, lensectomy uh, with the posterior capsulotomy, and this is him uh, at uh, almost uh, three and a half years of age. So he was being uh, managed with glasses and contact lenses and uh, family decided that to go for a second VI will implant. So after the insertion, you can see uh, the insertion of the uh, AC maintainer at the uh, second wound for the uh, vitreous cutter. Uh, you can use the same wounds uh, uh, just to avoid uh, um, uh, uh, more scarring. Uh, wounds are, scars are already there, so you can use the same ones. That you they close quite nicely. Uh, this is anterior vitrectomy. You want to make sure that there's no other, uh, there's no uh, vitreous in the anterior in chamber. Um, so uh, the uh, cut rate is at uh, six, uh, 10,000 and the vacuum is at 600. You can also use trimcinolol just to see if there's uh, any vitreous tags that may aid in your visualization. So after doing the anterior vitrectomy and the uh, just staying at the surface of the lens of the anterior lens capsule. The next step uh, would be to uh, open up the uh, uh, this uh, capsular pack. So I'm using uh, using a, a, a MVR uh, a 23 gauge MVR. The tip is really sharp, so just. Uh, uh, once you reach at the edge of the anterior capsule, it's a small nick. Once you get a small nick, then uh, uh, you have to keep on trying uh, different areas. Sometimes that uh, the uh, you don't get a capsular uh, edge. Over here, you can see that I've uh, tried from right to left, and uh, uh, you can go back and forth. And once you see that. The anterior capsule is op opening. The, uh, the anterior capsule does kind of retract back a bit, and uh, you see the, a lot of uh, uh, lens material uh, stuck in the capsular bag. So we'll be removing all of that lens material before implanting the lens inside the uh, capsular bag. The 23, this 23 gauge MVR is pretty sharp. You can go all around just uh, staying at the edge and uh, just make sure just be careful not to puncture your posterior capsule the uh, it's a significant difference between the anterior and the capsule and the anterior and the posterior capsule edge the posterior capsule uh, edge uh, which was uh, done by a vitrector is uh, uh, quite uh, uh, fibrotic uh, yeah, here I'm just going back and forth, back and forth, trying to open it up. And uh, uh, trying to get as much as possible. Okay, now that we have most of the capsule bag open and you can go with your uh, cutter this is just a risk of elastic just to push uh, the uh, posterior surface of the capsule bag down so it was easy then you can uh, use your uh, retractor on the vacuum setting to uh, take out the lens material mm -hmm.
So I've just uh, uh, taken out the AC maintainer and mm -hmm. used the side port to get access uh, to the uh, capsule at uh, uh, just reaching 12 o'clock position. maintainer going back in and here you see that the uh, lens materials uh, come out nicely so it's uh, stuck in the capsule back important to remove all of it because you don't want any post-operative inflammation and they can also uh, uh, get stuck in the trajectory metric and, and causing glaucoma Better to use your uh, your uh, cutter setting on uh, just vacuum only. You don't want to chew the iris. A nice opening here. I'm going to change position, I'm going to sit temporal, previously I was sitting at 12 o'clock, sit at temporal and change the infusion uh, to 12 and uh, try to access the uh, the, artist, uh, the capsule bag from the 12 o'clock position. There's a small sinecia there, I think possibly due to the uh, uh, surgical uh, aridectomy that was made. On the initial surgery. Sanikia is at uh, 12 o'clock and that's why it's uh, the artist is slightly stuck there, yeah, it's releasing the Sanikia. At this stage, the pupil is more difficult to visualize the uh, anterior capsule 12 o'clock, so uh, you can use iris hooks, which we did. You can either use a 25 gauge needle, uh, as, uh, pretty much uh, measures the size that uh, for the iris hooks you don't have to put a large incision and for this child we didn't close the these wounds so they are uh, self-sealing so but Uh, slightly trimming the uh, posterior capsular edge uh, better to leave that slight r uh, that rim there that fibrotic rim because it's giving some support to the to to the capsule taking removing it out can uh, probably uh, open up uh, the whole uh, or cause uh, more uh, problems to the uh, capsular bag itself so just uh, if you want to cut it, just cut it with caution. So we're uh, pretty clear now. Uh, yeah, there's uh, some bit uh, left around one and two o'clock.
it's a good bit of uh, lens material coming out and uh, just be careful once you once you grasp the lens material try to get it out in all in one go you don't want this small lens material to fall at the back because you don't have uh, any vitreous there so it will fall at the back and uh, can cause problems so uh, once you engage it just uh, uh, then uh, take all the lens material in one go now I'm just putting uh, the iris oaks we have a nice uh, capsular bag here it's uh, completely clean the advantage of doing this that you will not end up in a in a in a, in a donut situation after putting a a lens the usually the lens uh, if you if you do not do all this uh, maneuvers i know it takes time but if you do not do all this thing then the your lens is almost kind of uh, bowing uh, forward and uh, and in these kits uh, it it they can end up with uh, problems later on with and especially with the with the iris uh, keep on uh, rubbing on the uh, surface of the lens so once this lens goes nicely inside the bag, the chances of all that uh, fairly go to uh, 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 pretty practically zero. Still like to use uh, foldable forceps uh, for the MS60 lenses. Uh, uh, the uh, the cartridge. Uh, sometimes we ended up having problems sometimes the loop gets uh, broken gets stuck uh, with the forceps although you have to make have to make a bit slightly larger incision but at least you have control over the over the lens and the haptics opening up uh, i've recently shifted from a a, uh, a lens dialer to uh, this micro micro capsule access forceps it gives you more uh, flexibility it's a bit slightly bigger but i can uh, maneuver the lens the loops and, and the posterior surface a bit more easily now the AC maintainer is on one thing I've noticed that the, uh, the car, it does look as if the, car, the bag becomes very floppy that's because you have increased surface now and the interior capsule is now stretched uh, because of the fluid and uh, so uh, but it uh, the after uh, a week or so the uh, uh, the position of the lens is, uh, is uh, pretty good. So, lens is now inside the bag. Uh, the main wounds um, is closed with 10 0 Vicryl. I'll uh, introduce some air and then uh, remove the uh, AC maintainer and also close the uh, infusion site. Uh, it's nice to use some. Uh, uh, Infracameral heparin just to avoid that inflammation the, with the bit of iris manipulation that just reduces it. And also use subcondentable caparexam and dexamethasone and with trimsilin on orbital floor. Uh, patient is now almost uh, 10 months uh, post op and is uh, doing really well, has uh, excellent vision. Uh, he's uh, we still left him a slightly hypermetropic, he's, he's around uh, uh, plus four and there's only a difference of uh, like three lines between the other eye and uh, the no intraocular information nothing whatsoever thank you very much for watching